Welcome to Python series for beginners and this video is on why loop. When thinking of loop, first most question comes to our mind, what does this loop means? Well, loop is an iteration over sequence. Let's understand this by some example for this we'll be going to PyCharm. And here, if I want to write or print just single time, what I'll do manually, I'll write print Vina. Let's say Vina. So I just want to print this. It will print for one time. Now I want this to be printed two times. So I'll write manually two times. And if I want to print for the three times, so I'll write three times also. But what if, if I want to print this hundred or thousand times, I won't be able to write this manually every time. So here this loop comes into existence. We can do this by two ways, for and while loop. First of all, we'll be focusing on while loop. This video will be focused on while loop. So here, first we need to require our relevant variable to be ready. Let's say i is equal to zero. With where i is indexing variable which is set to zero. Now there will be a while loop where I'll be testing some expression. Here I want to test expression which is i smaller than five. And then I will put a colon here. Make sure there should be a colon. This colon has a very vital role over here. As in C, C++ or Java, there is another way of coding. They used to put block of codes, blocks there in which their coding will be executed. Here we'll be giving a colon. C, now you can see a error over here, which is indent expected. So when I press enter over here, it will itself take that you have to put print over here. That means there are four spaces over here. Now, the next most thing, or you should not forget to put a incremental or decremental statement over here, which is required for this situation. Now we'll be writing i is equal to i plus one. Now I want to run this. I got this five times. Now, if I want to run 10 times, it will, it will run for 10 times also. Now, we can do this to 50 times. It will run for 50 times. Now, if I don't put this statement, let's see what happens. It is running for the infinite times. So it's very important to put this incremental statement over here. So first thing, we need to initialize a value. Second, we need to put the condition with while loop and then the incremental order. See some more example. Here we will start with a very basic program for even number, which will be starting with two. And, and at 10. And here we need to print just even number. Even number which is divisible by 2. Any number which is divisible by 2 will give 0. You can put an if condition also. But how can you print it with the help of while loop? So let's see here. So first of all, I will put a breakpoint here and then I will debug the program. So first of all, it will initialize index. That means let's say i is equal to 2. Then it will check whether index value is less than 10. 2 is less than 10. Yes. Then it will enter to here and it will print. 2. So here 2 is printed. Then again it will go and increment the index value. 
Now index value is 4. Now again it will go. It will see whether 4 is less than 10. Yes. So it will go inside the loop. It will print 4. After this 4 will be printed. Then it will again increment 2. 2 to the 4. Then it will be 6. So that means index is 6 here. Now index will be 6. Then again it will check whether 6 is less than 10. Yes. So it will print 6. Then again index is equal to index plus 2. So now it will be 8. Then again it will go. It will check whether 8 is less than 10. Yes. So again it will print 8. Now again it will increment. Now it will be 10. So it will check whether 10 is smaller than or equal to 10. It, yes, it is equal to 10. So it will go and print 10. Now again it will increment. Now what it will be? 12. Then again it will check whether 12 is less than 10. No. So it will come out of the loop. So let's see what it has printed for us. That means 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12 won't be printed. So these are the things which has been printed here. As you can see in my console. Now if I want to print it at single line. So what I'll, I'll do here? I'll just put E and D is equal to first of all. With single quote. Now I will run it. You can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are in single line. Now again let's see another program. In this video we will just know how while loop works. So we will come up with sum of even number. That means if it is it will start with 1. And it will end to 10. So it will be checking even number between 1 and 10. Whatever even number will it be, it will sum up all the even numbers. So let's see. We will put the debug point at initialization and condition. And then we will debug the program. So i has been initialized with 1. i is index over here. So it will go here. There will be some variable where it has been given 0. Now it will go to while loop. It will check whether 1 is smaller than 10. Yes. So it will go inside the loop. It will check. Now this is the even number condition which I have told you earlier. So it will check whether 1 percentile 2 is equal to 0? No. So it will come out of this loop. Uh, sorry, this if condition. It will print sum. So sum is here 0. So here you can see sum is 0 and index is 1. Again, it will go. Now it will check again and increment the index value with 1. This you can see. Here i is equal to i plus 1. So here now i will be 2. So it will go to condition whether 2 is less than 10. Yes. And it will go to if condition 2 percentile 2 is equal to 0. So it will see whether 2 is 2, 1, 2, 0. Yes, it is. So it will go in sum con it will go into the if condition and now it will go sum is equal to sum plus i that means sum is 0 0 plus i is 2 so sum will be 2 you can see here sum became 2 
now it will i increment the i now i will be 3 now it will check 3 is less than 10 yes it will go inside it 3 percentile 2 is equal to 0 no 1 will be the remainder so it won't it won't be going there and it will print as it is sum is 2 now it will go again i is equal to 4 4 is less than 10 yes 4 is divisible by 2 yes because 2 to 4 so remainder will be 0 so it will go inside the if and sum will be 4 now sorry 2 plus 4 so that means 6 so it will print 6 now and then it will increment i i will be 5 now 5 is less than 10 yes now 5 is divisible by 2 no it will be coming out of it and sum will be as it is 6 it will increment i again and then 6 is less than 10 yes 6 is divisible by 2 yes and it will sum up the sum plus i that means now 12 6 plus 6 is 12 now i is equal to i plus 1 that means 7 7 is less than 10 yes 7 is divisible by 2 no so it will just keep sum as it is now again i is equal to 8 8 is less than 10 yes 8 is divisible by 2 yes and it will plus it now sum is equal to 20 i will increment 9 9 is smaller than 10 yes 9 is divisible no it will print the as it is sum that is 20 now i will be 10 10 is less than or equal to 10 yes 10 is equal to 10 10 is divisible by 2 yes it will again sum up the sum plus i that means 20 plus 10 is 30 it will print the sum now i will be 11 now notice here 11 is less than or equal to 10 no so it will come out of this and will print the sum so now what's the con uh, final output 30 as you can see it will be giving 0 2 2 because here it is inside while loop so it will print every point uh, the sum at every point now what i'll do i'll just make it outside because i want just a single number single sum between 1 to 10 what is the sum of even number so i'll just keep it here let's see what is the total sum for this first we need to stop this and then sum is equal to sum plus i i plus print sum this should be out run stop and rerun you can see here this is 30